Hello everyone. So today's video is all about um, befriending your inner critic. So we all know the voice of that inner critic, right? She has or he has a sharp tone of harshness, self-criticism, um, judgment. And many times it's in autopilot. It's our protective system. It's fear-based and automatic. It's just part of being human. It's how we're wired. And when that self-critic shows up, we give her a lot of attention, we feed her negativity, and we deepen that firing and wiring of the brain, the connection, by making ourselves feel less than, inadequate, isolated, and broken. The self-judgment reveals what we believe about ourselves that stops us from creating the life we want to live, right? So how do we start befriending that inner critic? You have to first recognize when you're an autopilot, when he or she shows up. And you don't have to make it your enemy. Look at your inner critic as the door to your inner transformation, a path to self-acceptance and self-empowerment. Your inner critic draws attention to exactly what stands in the way of your greatness, of your unique gift to give to the world. And recognize that when you can move beyond that limiting grip of self-doubt or self-loathing or whatever that is, you get to step into a feeling of self-compassion, a self-responsive, like you're responding to your own distress, your own needs, and you improve your, that self-talk. And you can intentionally affirm your worth. And the more you nurture that side, the more it gets comfortable. It can be very foreign at the beginning. See, your fears are a part of you. So you're not trying to eliminate your fears. They're also there to help you they protect you, and so you have to accept them. But then you have to look at it and go, is this a story that I'm telling myself? You're looking at it with curiosity and openness, and is this something that I really, is this a fact, or is it something that I've created? Does it serve me, or does it not serve me? And by turning to it and looking at it, you dissolve the power that it has over you. So I encourage you to practice telling yourself, it's okay when you see her or she, you know, him show up, this inner critic, but that awareness is power. You get to choose. You can change the self-talk. Now, this is not something I can, you know, this one video is going to change that. You've ingrained it. It's a firing and wiring. But if you want to really harness the power of rewiring it, I'd love to share with you my programs that really get in there and help you change the wiring of the brain. But I hope this just plants a little seed the next time that inner voice, meh, 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 all that negative self-talk shows up. Live in awareness. You have the power to change it. All the best.